Today we will look at a vintage game and watch called Hold Up. Produced by Tandy, this was Radio Shack's first handheld LCD game. I'm going to open it and clean it thoroughly. We will check the circuits for any damage. I'm also going to clean the button and battery contact points for good measure. Many handhelds from this era are built somewhat the same, so this video will be helpful to collectors looking to restore their vintage games. Here, we could see the back of the case shows no damage. The screws look like they have never been removed or stripped. The battery door is intact and removes easily. Battery terminals show no obvious damage. After removing the four outer screws, we now have access to the speaker and back of the motherboard. Speaker connections leading to the speaker both look good. Remove the four screws inside holding the back of the motherboard. We can now see the button contacts on both the motherboard and back of the buttons. I used a pencil eraser over the button contacts on the motherboard side. I scrubbed the contacts until they look clean and new again. Wipe the rubber button contact points on a piece of paper to remove excess grime. Don't wipe too much or the contact will rub away completely. Check all solder connections for rot or breakage on both sides of the board. We can re-solder any cold solder joints if necessary. This game looks good. The LCD screen has three layers of plastic, one layer being polarized film. Now we can use canned air to blast off the dust and also remove any dust from behind the screen. Use caution when blowing onto the screen as the polarized film layer may fly off the motherboard. Hold the can of air as level as possible to avoid accidentally freezing the screen. After cleaning the shell and buttons, reassemble the game. Check new battery voltage with a multimeter before installation. And here we are, all finished. Now let's check how she plays.